Today, a short reading from my brand new book called How To Be A Wellbeing, Unofficial Rules To Live Every Single Day, written with my good mates, Sanj and Pooley. It's a series of rules. We've all got our favorite chapter. This is my favorite rule from the book. Um, and it's rule number four. It's called Celebrate You're A Lottery Winner. It's easy to snuggle underneath the duvet of excuses. Life's not fair, right? There really is too much work pressure. Your boss really is an idiot. It's impossible to ever get to the bottom of your emails. Your department probably is about to be restructured again. Your commute is genuinely too long. The alarm does ring too loudly and too early. The weekends are short. It drizzles. You can't get a doctor's appointment. The rush hour is anything but a rush. Your salary isn't quite enough. There are no good movies on Netflix. Trains run late. The current crop of politicians is the worst in living memory. It's all true. But it pays to give yourself a break. It's a massive advantage if you begin at the other end of the telescope. Let's roll back the years to when your mum and dad first met. At some point they'll have started dating and kissing and fumbling awkwardly. I don't want to gross you out but in order for you to exist your mum and dad must have had sex. Hopefully it was just a one-off and you can now get that image out of your head. The gross bit is what your dad did he exploded about 500 million sperm into your mum. Sorry about that image, uh, but it's both important and it's true. That ejaculation was in actual fact your first outing. You swam for life and out of 500 million, you were the tadpole that got to the egg first. You are that sperm, woo! You're already amazingly successful, the gold medalist sperm front crawler. Or well, possibly more of a wriggler, I don't know, I wasn't there. But it's sobering to realise that you are the arrowhead of human evolution. You are the result of a million generations of humans who have managed to survive long enough to have sex. If that chain had been broken just once, you wouldn't exist. You are the best that evolution can currently do. Yes, you! Think of all the love, the passion, the effort, the birth, the near death, the narrow escapes from wolves, the fevers, the plagues, the wars, and the associated scrapes that all your ancestors have experienced ever, and they went through all of that so that you can exist. And in each pregnancy, you were the one in 500 million sperm that swam the fastest. You were the sperm that wanted life the most and you wriggled down your dad's urethra, barging the others out of the way, you were focused, you got to the egg, you got life. The other 49,999,999 didn't. So now you've got life, what next? Doesn't it seem rather lame to grumble about your lot? Does it really matter that your train is late or that the traffic is at a standstill? Is it worth grumbling at 6 a.m. as the alarm clock heralds the start of a brand new day? It's a day of being alive. Are you going to report back to the other 499,999 whatever million sperm that didn't get there? Oh, it's drizzling today. You're right not to bother. Congratulations. You are the arrowhead of humanity. You were lucky to be born, which means you were born lucky. Rejoice that against, against all the odds you're here at all. You've won the lottery of life. Anything else? It's just a bonus.